Why'd I bring this Tesla beside the most famous ship in Canada? Check out this interview. All right, Craig, we are here, Polar Prince, the most famous ship in Canada. And I want to ask you, because you know we're here in front of a Tesla, how much diesel does this take to power? Yeah, these things are big on diesel. Um, this one, I think, particularly is about 500,000 liters. And yeah, when it's running and it's out steaming, it's probably a couple hundred thousand liters every two weeks or so. I, I wanted to bring this Tesla out today in comparison to, to, to these boats. So yeah. when I told you about this idea, what, what were you thinking? Well, I mean, it's interesting because the Tesla, obviously, it's an electric car, less emissions come out of the pipe. But let's be honest, in terms of global emissions, boats are, you know, they're, yeah. they're massive for this thing. We are here in the belly of the beast. We're here in the engine room yes. of the Polar Prince. Tell me a little bit about like the significance of powering this, th this massive beast. These were built in 1958. Okay. And here they are still operating 70 years later. So the longer you can keep this engine going, the greener it becomes in the grand scheme of things. The technology is not changing on these things physically. So how do we make these better? Well, let's change the fuel that run them. So Craig, tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing in this particular industry and how you guys are fueling a, a cleaner future. So we look at assets that already exist. Obviously boats like this, yep. uh, locomotives, mining trucks, big things that burn a lot of diesel. And we don't see those switching to any other motor power soon. So what we want to do is make the fuel as clean as possible that goes in. So we use you know, really clever, scientifically developed nano additives that we put into the fuel that makes it burn way cleaner. Tara, is this, is this where the captain usually uh, does her work or his work? Yeah, so usually the captain or like one of the mates. Well, so. I just want to let you know that I'm the captain <laughs> now, okay? I'm the captain now. That's a meme, that's from that movie. Anyways. <laughs> How do, we, how do we get more people, young people, ambitious, yeah. young, creative indiv individuals into this industry? I think we need to start looking at programs where we can bring you know, younger people in and show them what's available, right? Like these are real good careers for people and young kids can you know, they get in a career where they can actually make a difference. Conversations like we're having now. Yeah. Let people know that these opportunities are out there. Like there's a way that you can work in these industries to make a greener tomorrow. Yeah. This is a high tech industry. Big time, big time. This and I think people underestimate like, oh, you're just on a boat. But you know, the autonomous nature of things, there's like underwater activity all the time. Yeah. Students on ice, they, they're out in this particular boat last year and they were counting animals. Are there any secrets about this particular boat? Now, a couple of the guys have said about ghost stories before and ghosts being on here. Um, now, I haven't seen any myself. Okay, I'm out of here. Let's, okay, <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's get out of here.